Brian Zinke, Donald Trump's first scandal-plagued head of the Interior Department, violated ethics rules and misused his office with his ongoing involvement in a real estate project in his hometown of Whitefish, Montana, the department's internal watchdog concluded in a new report. The report from Interior's Office of Inspector General is yet another scathing rebuke of Zinke's repeated false claims that internal probes against him were BS and that he was cleared of all wrongdoing, a drum that he continues to pound as he campaigns for Montana's new congressional seat. The real estate project, known as 95 Caro, is financially backed by David Lesser, who was the chairman of oil giant Halliburton at the time. A foundation Zinke started and was president of before resigning to take over Interior, the Great Northern Veterans Peace Park, owns the 14-acre lot adjacent to the project site and initially agreed to allow developers to build a parking lot on the foundation's land. Zinke also had hopes of opening a microbrewery on the site. While in office and after stepping down as the foundation's president, Zinke stayed in constant contact with project developers and played an extensive, direct, and substantive role in representing the foundation during negotiations on the project, according to the Inspector General report. The Inspector General concluded Zinke's actions violated the department ethics agreement that he signed upon being confirmed as secretary. Investigators also concluded that Zinke knowingly provided incorrect and incomplete information when interior ethics officials questioned him about his involvement, a violation of his duty of candor, and misused his official government position by directing interior staff to assist him with matters related to the project and the foundation. Investigators, however, did not find that Zinke violated federal conflict of interest laws since he did not participate in any interior matters involving the real estate project. They also did not find that Zinke acted in his official capacity to specifically benefit Halliburton. The Inspector General referred its findings to the Justice Department, which last summer declined to prosecute Zinke's actions, according to the report. Zinke exchanged more than 60 emails and text messages, participated in up to five phone calls and met in person at least once with 95 Caro developers while in office, investigators found. Among other things, those communications included discussions and negotiations about specific project design issues and Zinke's interest in building and running a microbrewery. Jennifer Rucala, executive director of the Conservation Group Center for Western Priorities, said the report confirmed what we've known all along, corruption was rampant in the Trump administration. Self-dealing like this was par for the course. Ryan Zinke only got fired because he got caught, she said in a statement. It's unfortunate that Attorney General, Merrick, Garland declined to pursue a criminal case against Secretary Zinke. The IG report makes it clear that Zinke broke the law when he ordered his staff to facilitate a meeting in private tour with the developers, one of whom was a top executive at Halliburton. Zinke faced at least 18 formal investigations during his tenure as head of the Interior Department, and ultimately resigned from his post in January 2019 under a cloud of scandals. He is now running for Montana's new congressional seat. This is a developing story. Check back for updates.